Hi, I'm Alyssa Goodman. I'm here with a very, very dear friend of mine, Nicole Stewart. She does, she's worked in the Pilates world for a long time. Um, she's kind of a master, I feel, at Pilates. Um, I know, she gets embarrassed when I say that. And she actually, as a personal trainer, she takes care of a lot of people in a lot of ways, in terms of the exercise world, in terms of also mentally, I feel like you support a lot of people. And so I am so excited to have her here on my show to talk about how she got into this world and how she's making a difference with a lot of people. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know. No, it's okay. I, I know I said no. earlier, I want to call you guru. You're like, nah. Yeah. No guru. No. But, um, Not even master, master really. Right. No. I just um But you've been doing it so long and it's <sighs> really like you know it so well. You know the parts yeah, but of the body. The, 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 I could keep learning though. <laughs> like True. I've never like I still feel like I need to sign up for workshops and really and learn more and learn from other people. For me it just never stops the the learning process. So and there's so much I still don't even know, even after 17, 18 years. So it's been 18 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what actually got you into this world? Oh my gosh. Well, this is a very long story, but I'll try to tell you a short <laughs> condensed version. It was an accident. I mean, I moved to Los Angeles because I wanted to act mm -hmm. and I was waitressing for a very, very long time. And I was doing an Uta Hagen class. Um, What's an acting. Uta Hagen? She's a very famous teacher okay. from New York. Okay. It was Uta Hagen, Stella Adler, Lee Strasberg. I remember, I know, yeah, I've heard of him. All right. So um, I was doing one of her classes. She was teaching at the Howard Fine studio. And I was warming up in the garage with my scene partner, okay. who was a Pilates trainer. Okay. And I kept asking him, do you know of another job? I need another job. I can't be a waitress anymore. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know. I made him laugh. We were doing something stupid. And he was <laughs> like, why don't you come into the Pilates studio and we'll, you know, I'll talk to Mari. And at that time, it was Mari Windsor. Oh, love her. God bless her. God bless her. Um, and <sighs> uh, I went into the Pilates studio and I thought, hey, this is a great way for me just to do Pilates, because mm -hmm. at that time I had two cents to my name um, and definitely, definitely struggling, struggling, struggling. And I started to, she, I talked to her on the phone. She said, well, just come into the studio and take classes from some people and I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm on the road training Sharon Stone. Okay. So that sort of says the time period of right. that. Right. So that's exactly what I did. She came back and then she gave me the disappointing news that she wasn't hiring, but keep in touch. Okay. So that's exactly what I did. I hounded her wow. every week. Because you loved it. Uh, yeah, just... and I needed another job. <laughs> so I was like, well, so this is a little a bit of both, but yeah, yeah, I could make money and I liked it because it would keep me healthy and fit. Yeah. Because I suffered from depression. Okay. Right? So mm -hmm. I thought, how cool would this be? Like, I'd have to exercise right. to work at the studio. And so she said, all right, come in on me, ill. And I'll never forget the day. It was like afternoon. She's like, come in after Madonna. Madonna's <laughs> coming in. Wow. So I went in and I remember That's, I was walking in. Yeah, Madonna that was walk walking out. And um, she's like, well, what do you remember? And I, from the classes yeah. I had taken yeah. previously. Mm -hmm. And I said, nothing. She's like, all right, well, let's work out together. So that was the one thing. I grew up dancing. Mm -hmm. And dance for me was always like an escape. Mm -hmm. So I was always pretty good at it. Yeah. So we just sat down on the mat and we started mat workout and I was keeping up with her and she was kicking my ass. Wow. And I looked at her and I was all I could red see her faced kicking your ass. and sweaty. And I said, I said, all righty then. <laughs> and she just started laughing and she's like, can you start tomorrow? Now start meaning answering the phones at the front desk at okay. 6 a.m. All right. And of course I said, yes. Yeah. So I waitressed at night and wow. started that during the day? answering phones for her. And mm -hmm. I was her assistant and ran errands. And then I was somebody else's assistant who worked out there. And just that's how it started. And then I just started training with her and doing Romana workshops and training with the other teachers who taught there. and. And then you just you made the it a profession. Is history. I mean, I was really right. good at it because yeah. I understood it. Mm -hmm. And 
from dancing for so many years, I understand form and alignment. Right. You know, and how important that is. And it just it just made sense to me and I got it. Like mm -hmm. I don't know how else to explain it. I just it it was It wasn't hard. hard. No, well it was. It was. I, I mean you gotta know what you're doing with the springs, but right. you know, that took a couple of years for me to actually even have a surface of knowledge of what I was doing. Um, but it also I was good at it. I just mm -hmm. knew it was something I was good at it and um came naturally <laughs> in a sort of yeah. way without like sound, sounding arrogant right. or no, anything. You no, know? it doesn't. It sounds like empowering. So was, yeah, and so I just that, kept doing it and then I just started getting clients um, and then I heard Courtney Love was going on the road. Okay. And I went up to Mari because they called the studio for Mari mm -hmm. and she didn't pass on the job because it wasn't paying that much. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I want to go. Right. Oh, how like, exciting. Thought, how cool would that be? Like yes. go on the road with Courtney Love mm -hmm. and see the United States, yeah. like why not? And I was single at the time. And to me, whatever it was paying was a lot of money. Right. You know, I was like, I could get out of debt. <laughs> so um, she actually said, I don't think you guys are a good match, Ooh. which was fine, mm -hmm. you know? She's like, I'm, I offered the job to somebody else. <sighs> so I went, nah, <sighs> nah, all right. Um, and the other girl she offered it to definitely was more like, seemed rock and roll to me, like yeah. that type or whatever. But she ended up passing on the job. <gasps> so Did then it came back to me. So, so you ended up going with her. So then I ended up going with her oh on my the goodness. road for wow. her first whole tour. Oh, how, and, wow. Yeah. And how often did you work out with her? And Was then it? I ended up training her for like, I don't know, 14 years. Oh, my goodness. That's so awesome. And the rest is history, right, you right. know? And now yeah. I see her at Buddhist meetings and we chant together sometimes. Oh, and oh that is so. It was like another lifetime ago. And then that's originally how I ended up getting Kate. Uh huh. Um, I, I guess she went up to Canada and saw Courtney in a show. And she right. was like, babe, your butt looks so good. What are you doing? <laughs> and she said, Nicole. Right. 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 So then, um, then Kate was in LA and she was starting to shoot Almost Famous. Uh huh. And she went inside of a store called Tracy Ross. Mm hmm. That I used know the to be store. on. Yeah. Yep. And uh, just randomly asked this guy, Mark, whose name, last name, I can't remember. I need a Pilates trainer. Do you know of anyone? Mm -hmm. Now, Mark was doing wardrobe on a short film that my boyfriend, now at the time, had written. And I was helping him with that. Okay. Right? Right. So he said, yeah, Nicole. And I had just started. So yeah. she got my name and number, called me. We made an appointment. And the rest is history there, too. The rest too. is history <laughs> there. So it's You've sort of. You've done so much with her. Yes, right? I did. Yes, for you, sure. I mean, because I feel you've done like so much in the athletic world, right? Have you done you've done stuff with Fabletics? Yes. So uh, yeah, for I'm her, still doing some, you know, stuff with Fabletics. Yeah. I Anybody about else her last week. that you work with in that in that world? Um, I mean, there's been a lot of people, you know, mm -hmm. who come and go, but right. you know, there's always those few who stick. And well, yeah. there's been a lot of people I've trained now for like. 20 years. years yeah including some of my good friends yeah exactly <laughs> who i never knew that you did and yeah. then i met you i, was I just like, don't talk about yeah, it all no, that much no. you know i know yeah. so but it's funny how do, things so, do it's a small circle isn't it full circle yeah, yeah. and you're yeah. right it's not always so much about the um physical as it is much more sometimes about the mental right and for me it was always more about the mental and then okay great the benefits that would come after the mental was getting yeah. figured out with know? the physical it get followed yeah so we're going to hear more about i want to hear more about the mental when we come back um, we're going to take a short break and we will be back with nicole stewart <laughs> i can't tell you how excited i am about the Alyssa goodman show i've partnered with the the ah, ready not ready I focus with, I focus, I have focus with Focus TV. My brain is like going whoop, whoop. I'm sorry. It's like, why is this so hard? Hey, 
All you need is a private chef and some Botox and a stylist and you're good to go. <laughs> Hi, we're back with Nicole Stewart. And it's so fun to have you because I absolutely adore you. Um, we, we were just talking about how in my practice, I know that people come to see me and some people do need to be handheld. And those are some of the hardest clients that I have to like hound and push. Did you eat this? Did you drink this? Did mm -hmm. you take your supplements? It's so hard to do that. I always love the ones that really want to make the change and want to do the work. And so it sounds like with your with what you do, and how you function with your clients, it's sort of, it's, it's similar in that way, yeah, right? Yeah, it's That's, definitely, I mean, it's You're not a hounder. Board. You're not, No, yeah. no, because right. we were just talking yeah. about that. It, it depends on the client. Like, if somebody is like, look, I need you to get me out of bed and like, okay. you know, then, you will do it. then I'll do it, but I'm not going to do that naturally. That's not really of my nature, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, definitely laid back more, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm also more about like, I'm not one of those trainers who's going to be like, don't ever eat French fries. Don't ever eat ice cream. Don't ever da 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 da, -da you mm -hmm. know, it's just all the no's. Yeah. Because when you do that, you deprive yourself yeah. and then it makes you want it Absolutely. more. Yeah. And I would do that in my teens and then in my twenties and then I would go binge. Yeah, exactly. And it and was most always, people do that. It was always this. So now I'm at a place where finally after two years, I feel like I've lost all the baby weight and mm -hmm. back down to my normal size. Right. Um, but I, you know, if I want pizza once a week, I'll go have pizza and then a vegetable or a salad or, right. you know, it's just about the balance and moderation, yeah. really. The moderation is key. Key and cutting yeah. out, you know, sugar if I want alcohol. Right, <laughs> right. right. That's also the hard one, the sugar and the alcohol is a tough exactly. one. Exactly. But like, so is that kind of with your clients, it's moderation? Or do you, it just depends on the client too. Some have to work out every day to get what they need. I mean, it how? It depends. Like if someone's shooting a movie and they're yeah. trying to get to a goal weight, that's a whole different beast. Right. And they have a month. That's a whole other like, whoa, program, right? right? where it's a definitely restricted caloric for me. And it's always been really how many calories you're consuming to how many you're putting out. Okay. It's not, for me, it's never been about like this diet or that yeah. diet or this or that, because there's been thousands of them as we know. Right. And they come and go. Right. But at the end of the day, Truly. the calorie yeah. system for me and for the people I know has always worked. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's different for uh, someone who just wants to be healthy and maintain and keep their flexibility. It's um, definitely more of a mellower route, mm -hmm. you know? So and that's a good point. Up, showing right. up, you know? Yeah. Actually coming to the appointments, actually keeping them on a regular yeah. basis. And some the days commitment. may be harder than others. Yeah. And other days, you know what? It's just not going to be as intense. Yeah. It's just not. You yeah. can't consecutively keep showing up for crazy workouts all the time. Right. You'll burn out. Right. You'll burn out. So it sounds like like you work with people who want to lose weight. You work with people who probably have joint back issues, right? Pain like pain in their body. Yes. And they're trying to strengthen. Oh my Wow. They smith we are having some noise outside. <laughs> um, great time and so yeah, so they, they like. Do you have? A, is it across the board? It's across the board. Okay, definitely. You don't get the one board. more than the other. Because these days, I, would I feel say my niche yes. is is the the for female the female like actresses yes. who really want to get in shape quickly. Like yeah. I can do that really well. Okay, that's my niche. Yeah, but I also you know I have the people I've trained. Uh -huh. for 20 years mm -hmm. who are still showing up and they're mm -hmm. physically fit and they get great cholesterol right. reports and you know all yeah. of those things you and know? they don't have like some of the joint pain or the back no. issues or, or some, some of them you know they do because they'll take like they'll go out of town or whatever right. they have arthritis but they always know they have to come back right like i had one client who took a break for a year mm -hmm. and she thought oh i was not like i was doing it and it wasn't doing anything right and then she came back and realized what she was doing was so much. And she said, please don't ever let me quit again. <laughs> right. At I, least let me show up <laughs> once a week, please. Right. I'm so stiff. Yeah. 
She's like, never again. I do hear that. I feel like some people like these days need that hardcore workout where they're sweating, the, the Barry Boot Camp or the Burn 60, right? Or I yeah, mean, people, I mean, but people what, do you, that. what is your belief like that. in that? Do you think that people know. need that? I personally used to overtrain, mm -hmm. you know? So for me, when I worked out like that, I was always heavier. Uh huh. I just was. I that tend to was, see that too. You know, my body type. Right. I made what I had into thick muscle. Right. Um, and then when I just slowly started to like peel that away and back off is really when I started to shed the weight and the pounds. And I just felt like for me, yoga and Pilates was mm -hmm. a much more nurturing way. Yeah. To, to for treat my your body. body type. Right. You know, and, and that's what worked in getting you back into shape. Yes. Those kind of exercise programs. Yes. Or, yes. Do, do you hike? Because I, I know. Yeah, I love right, hiking. I know you're for right sure, close sure. to Runyon Canyon. Runyon Canyon. Yeah, no, so, of course. so you do hike and you walk and Absolutely. also running after your two year old. Yes. Running after <laughs> my two almost and a half year old. Oh my yeah. God. No, but I, and I like running. Yeah. For sure. But um, I don't, I'll do like a, a mile, you know? Okay. Just to, yeah. Just to get the blood pumping. Yeah. And, and get a sweat and then I'll do Pilates. Right. You know, or sprints for people yeah. who don't like running. That's exactly. always a great way to get them to run for a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's talk mm -hmm. about a minute, you mm -hmm. know? Exactly. So. So what would you say your success is on a daily basis for, <clears throat> do you work, you don't work out every day, right? No, I so don't. So no, no. how do you keep your, you know, sanity? Well, I mean, I, I definitely I have a Buddhist practice, so okay. I chant. Okay. You know, and that's even been challenging every day, but I try to do a five minute morning prayer and a five minute evening prayer okay. twice a day. And that helps. So that always just brings me, like I knew I had to email you something this morning <laughs> and I was chanting and I was like, shit. <laughs> So I kept chanting while I went to my computer to email you. <laughs> and I'm like, forgive me, but- Is that, is that, can that you, are you that supposed to do that? <laughs> no, you're not, right. but you know, and then I sat yeah. down and finished. Yeah. But um, so it, that's it's pretty hard. religious for you. That's that. definitely that and diet and exercise. Yeah. So the, if somebody cancels, you know, I'll go uh -huh. run to work out. Okay. You know, or I'm, I schedule like Mondays and Fridays yoga. Like okay. I've made that part of my new year. Okay. Um, and then the other days I'll switch off from Pilates to circuit training, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so it just all depends on when I can find the time. Right. That's tricky, but I definitely try to set in stone at least the yoga. For yourself. Yeah. What about diet? What is your, you mm. know? I mean, is for it, the most part, I just try to eat healthy. Yeah, just like, real food. Last night yeah. I had grilled salmon, brown mm -hmm. rice, and vegetables, I oh. have to say. <laughs> I really did. I hear that a lot, yeah. but yes. And it was good. I know, I love salmon. It was good. I enough of it. I'm trying to think. The so. other night I went out to dinner, you mm -hmm. know, and it wasn't so good. Right. So everything, again, you live your life, you have fun, yeah. you enjoy, and like you said, what you know, I do the same thing. Yeah. It's all in moderation. The exercise should be moderation, unless you are working on something, something a goal, for something. or you're not feeling well, um, or basically with the food too, I feel like 80, 20. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, 80% yeah. of the time, just. 100%. Because <laughs> you can't do anything perfect. Yeah, but, um, there, the, I, perfection doesn't exist. No, I think that that's killing us. Really, that it whole is. trying to be perfect and my acting to... teacher had like the best thing for perfection, but now I can't even remember what he said. But it, he said it was narcissistic to think mm. that you that could, be, could perfect. be perfect. That's interesting. Yeah. Very good He's, point. Perfection yeah. doesn't exist. Wow, it's it doesn't. About the imperfection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's where the goodies are. If you can embrace that imperfection of yourself, and right? that's, <laughs> I'm embracing that every day. I know. We're know? all trying. We're working hard at that. Yeah. I know. Um, I'm sure you have to deal with that with clients as well. So yeah, some, the people who want it like that. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. You right. know, it just doesn't. Right. So I ask all my guests at the end of the show if they could sum up their mission in one word. <sighs> what would yours be? Shine. Oh, I love it. No one's ever said that. They, that just I, came to my. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So it's almost like you walk into a room and you shine is what I see. Well, I do that, see that with you. But it's like shining so, through my struggles, sharing, sharing the struggles to other people to give them inspiration. Yeah. And That's motivation. so beautiful. 
Oh. I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> oh. I love that, Nicole. That Thank you so much. You're welcome. That was really beautiful. Oh, and <laughs> you are just really special at what you do and how you help people. And I try. You do. You do a good job. So thank, thank you. you for being on my show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs>